It's officially official, Saints fans. Ian Rappaport bringing us some breaking news that the New Orleans Saints and 49ers passing game coordinator, Clint Kubiak, has officially reached a deal to be the offensive coordinator in New Orleans. I've been really excited about this hire. I cannot wait to talk about it, and I can't wait to see what this offense looks like under Clint Kubiak. But guys, this is why you subscribe, because not only do we bring you breaking news, we give you guys rumors, live shows all throughout the regular season and the off season, and it's 100% free. So lock us in, subscribe today. That way you can stay informed on your New Orleans Saints. Let's talk about Clint Kubiak, your new offensive coordinator. All right, let's chop it up, Houdat Nation. So we're going to talk about the hiring and the official news to start the show off. And then we're going to dive into some 49ers free agents that could actually follow Kubiak to come to the Saints offense. So let's dive into Kubiak's path for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with this coach. He's the son of NFL coaching legend Gary Kubiak. He spent some time with the Denver Broncos as their quarterback's coach and their passing game coordinator. He also worked with Kirk Cousins as the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach in Minnesota. He does have experience calling plays, and he's a part of that illustrious Kyle Shanahan coaching tree that has been so successful. You think about guys like Robert Salah, who maybe not as successful as some of the other ones, but D'Amico Ryans, Mike McDaniel, some of these guys are really, really good coaches, and they bring in some really good coordinators, so I'm excited to see what he can do in the Big Easy. And here's some more on... Clint Kubiak. He did develop Brock Purdy, which if you didn't know, he's not a system quarterback. He was number one and he was elite in a lot of statistical and advanced statistical categories. Brock Purdy was really, really good this year. You can sit here and say he was Mr. Relevant. You can sit here and try and tell me that he is not a good quarterback, but I will not agree with you. He is a phenomenal quarterback in this league. Now, Kubiak, like I said, he does have some experience around the league and one of my favorite parts about this hire is that he comes from the Shanahan tree, and that offense is always so intriguing. And here's some of the staples of those Kyle Shanahan offenses. There's very heavy under center, a lot of 21 personnel, which means two running backs, one tight end, which I think could work really well in New Orleans. If you have Alvin Kamara, Jamal Williams lined up, or maybe you have Kendra Miller, Jamal Williams, Alvin Kamara, Kendra Miller, whatever you want to do, you have three really good running backs that can bring you three different skill sets that I would love to see the Saints utilize. You got a lot of multiple run scheme, a lot of play action misdirection, which I think is so beneficial, and I think the Saints need to incorporate it, and you attack the middle of the field a lot. So I can't wait to see this hire. I think that this is an A-plus hire, but I want you guys to go back to school for me. I want you to grade the hire of the Saints offensive coordinator, which is Clint Kubiak. Just give me an A, B, C, D, or F, and let me know down in the comment section. I'm going to be interacting with all of y'all, so be sure to voice your opinions and share your thoughts. All right, let's talk about some 49ers free agents that could join the New Orleans Saints. My number one target, it's going to be tough to get him, but Jawan Jennings. I need this man in a Saints uniform like I need oxygen. They call him third and Jawan out in the bay because this guy is stellar. Let me tell you this. In the regular season, you see it, 19 receptions, 265 yards, and one touchdown. 12 of those 19 catches were first downs. And in the playoffs, eight receptions, 111 yards, one touchdown. Eight of those catches were first downs. Juwan Jennings, just like Juwan Johnson last year or two years ago, was Mr. Reliable. They can extend drives. They can keep the offense on the field, which ultimately leads to points, which ultimately leads to wins. I want Jawan Johnson really bad. I hope that Kubiak can bring him with, or can join him in New Orleans. John Feliciano, let's add to those trenches. I want to see him help out in a weak offensive line unit because Feliciano was very, very impressive this year. The pass blocking grade, sure, it isn't incredible, but the overall grade, 81.2, 87.0 run blocking grade, 15 pressures, two sacks. I think that pressures is a metric that analysts and fans are going to start taking more and more seriously because these quarterbacks are getting so much more athletic, avoiding sacks a lot more. So pressures, I think, is a very important number to look at. Feliciano only allowed 15 in over 470 snaps. But 
I do think that offensive line and defensive line are very important. But my question is, which one's the bigger need? You want to add to the trenches to protect Derek Carr? Or do you want to add to the other side of the ball so you can attack opposing quarterbacks and create those pressures, create turnovers, and create havoc and wreak problems for opposing offenses? Let me know, offensive line or defensive line, in the comment section. We're going to go over to a special teams all-star, Chris Conley. Dude, if you guys didn't tune into the Super Bowl last night, I'm sorry you missed out. Because this guy was everywhere on the field. He had multiple big-time special teams tackles. He had a really big third and long catch early in the game. Chris Connolly is a special teams demon. Shout out to producer Chip for giving me that one. He is an impact player everywhere. He is very interesting to watch, and I think that he could be a beneficial player for the Saints roster because he can impact a lot of different things. Reminds me of a guy like Taysom Hill, doesn't it? Anyway, let's get over to our sponsor for today's show, and it is Fanatics because look at this awesome hat-shirt combo. If you want to get a deal for this, for 30% off, I have a link for you in the comment section and in the description of this video. I encourage you to click that link because, hey, you want the hat, but you don't like the shirt? Guess what? You got a birthday present for your best friend. You like the both of them, but you want to get your friend one? Well, guess what? You can get two of them for 30% off each. So I encourage you, use that link, chatsports.com slash saintscombo. It's in the comment section and description of this video to make it easy for you because I love you. All right, next guy. We're going to talk about the offensive line again. Matt Pryor. Now, <clears throat> I wouldn't list him as a priority guy to go bring in, but at the end of the day, the Saints offensive line needs better depth. It needs better production, and it needs to be improved. Now, Matt Pryor, in a very, very, very limited sample size, 42 snaps this year, had an overall PFF grade of 88.5. No pressures, no sacks allowed. So that is, you know, good news there. But he's also a guy who's been around the league. He's kind of been a career backup. He hasn't really been a starting guy, you know, with the 49ers this past season. And I just think that he isn't like a guy you want starting necessarily. I do think that he is a player that can bring you some positive impact. And if he needs to fill in for a role, sure, maybe he could be a good player or a good guy to plug in right there. But I don't think that this is a guy that is going to make a big difference and drastically improve that offensive line. Again, if they sign him, I'd love to be proved wrong. But the offensive line, at the end of the day, they need all the help that they can get. Cesar Ruiz underperformed. Andrew Speed, he's a free agent. I honestly could see the Saints bringing him back. I personally wouldn't, but I could see them wanting to bring him back. I think he underperformed. Trevor Penning, bust. James Hurst has not been good. Ryan Ramchek, getting older. The only consistent part of that offensive line is Eric McCoy. That's literally it. This offensive line needs all the help that they can get, so I think that John Feliciano or Matt Pryor should both be, should be brought in. Feliciano definitely, but Pryor is a backup. So let's talk about a quarterback. Could the Saints be adding to that quarterback room? I don't know. Maybe there's a need, maybe there's not. And why I think Brandon Allen would be such a good hire or a good uh, signing for the Saints He's an Arkansas legend, and if you didn't know, I went to the University of Arkansas, so you guys can boo me in the comment section. You can write boo pig if you guys are LSU fans, but I had to show some love to a fellow Razorback alum because woo pig always, I love it, so that would be fun. But in all seriousness, let's talk about the fit for the Saints. He really could be a beneficial guy to have in that locker room. He's played in some good offenses. He was a part of that Bengals Super Bowl team. Uh, he was the backup, but, you you know, quality backups are important to have in the league. And if they want to challenge Jay Kaner, if they don't necessarily trust Jay Kaner, maybe, uh, maybe Allen is a good fit to be QB2. Because you could just essentially replace Jameis Winston. I don't know if the Saints are going to want to bring Jameis back. I am, I am team re-sign Jameis. I want that to be clear. I'm team re-sign Jameis, but... I could see the Saints not going that route. So I think Brandon Allen brings you not only a player that could challenge Jake Hayner to be the quarterback two slash quarterback three, but also he could provide some insight and some, just some understanding of these complex and new offenses. So I think that he could actually be a beneficial addition to the team. But of course, we have to see what the Saints are going to do with Jameis Winston because at this point, if you, in the current depth chart, it's Derek Carr, 
Jameis Winston, Jake Hayner. So Winston's back. I think that there's a uh, that he is still the QB two, and it doesn't make sense to bring in Brandon Allen. But who that nation? If you want the New Orleans Saints to nail this offseason, it feels like they're doing a good job so far. They're off to a good start, making some coaching changes, bringing in some good new fresh faces, some fresh ideas. I like what they're doing so far. But if you want them to nail it, hit that thumbs up icon. Don't be the jinx, and y'all stay golden. We'll see you next time.